welcome you to this place which obviously is a result of current, uh, current social, political, economic development. But maybe before I head over to the national chairman of the Zimbabwe National Liberation Organization Association, Ambassador Christopher Mutangwa, I just want to call um, upon three provincial chairpersons because we have all the ten uh, provincial chairpersons here but they have delegated three to speak on their behalf and the fourth one to sum up what they will have said. So the first chairperson is going to speak in Shona. The second one will speak in Isindevele. The last one in East English. <laughs> and uh, the fourth one in English, I think. So, <coughs> first chairman, please. Sorry, chairman. I'm sorry, comrades, my assembly moon. Now, we are to doubt our panel chairman in now, yes, you can take more association with uh, association in Ilku Toropa, Navamo and Sichin Sipo, as question for Pamtem Saka is too much more at Tambiri, Zinu Sri Uota, and Sakarongek, and Stuprongek and Noreva, which is in Zumu Tem, to the Trotty Venter, Simon Chimuji of Swabin Temos, Saka Pelukmas in what Tambiri Zinu Sri Tem. Uh, my election the executive chairman. executive national executive Christopher chairman. Among members, the national executives, the journalist, 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 the the uh, association is a private voluntary <coughs> organization. The we cast this in tobacco Wovet is Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association. Ya register. He register a private voluntary organization. He <coughs> le constitution ya yo. E yo is mumu. Mumbe e kaita. The association ama operations ya. Okad. Mkumu tukale mkumu yenge membership. The membership, the association, if you like, the woman to walk, only walk, and often a good join. It contains paragraph four of the constitution, sub paragraph A, B, and C. We sing where that we are going to go. We see Ukuluma Mogut, Umto Ime, we are Joina, we are Patala, Imali Ujoina. We are a battle in subscription. Oh, to go to my battle, my little join, I will battle in my subscription. Swimming. 
Loku esi kubona ukuphuma kwephepha nokuphuma kumarani nokuphuma kwezinye indawo abantu ababuthana kizwe sikubona ku violation of the constitution is what the national liberation law of 2006 ngoba iyathi usoba ukuthi nga ufuna ukuba i member ngoba kumele wenze njani asila mugcwa kumba asila any paragraph or sub paragraph, you contain out Umundo as you remember, we are from nowhere. As my colleagues say, to put Ogonian of Wupu. Our Kurumi Luton and their association now as you remember. Oma to a Nano as a scribe. If we are going to a day extraordinary Congress of Tizan, Tina in Constitution 80 in the five years. Executive layer in a quantity five years ago. This is a quantity of 2019 John of the Chile Congress. So now our Funa put to be a Congress. I'm sure of a Kuluman in your organization noted. Tina, we are in office. We are not worried about everything. Tina, we are having our programs for the office. We're turning it to get my journalist. I get a good servant to love. That is the Kulumang Association for the interest of others who are a journalist who are here. Let me also emphasize in English. Why are they interested without talking about the welfare of the war veterans? Why are they interested in the administration of the association which has its own executives from national Province, <coughs> districts, and so on. They are not talking about the welfare of war veterans. Why? War veterans are. <laughs> war veterans need medication. War veterans need land. War veterans need decent, even life, social life, like any citizens of Zimbabwe. Why are they busy about the, the structure of the association? So, Zititina. Young Association, Asila Congress, Umtsuangwa in five years, the executive is on up to 2019. So, as a fun with the state, Lababa Pumayo, Amatrage, Ninel Palai, Amatrage, Gaha, Vela, Amatrage, and Peter, Unga Pum, Sam Pruna, so Kupe from the main slogan. So, so Tina Sila one. Now my elections, we are worried about our programs, which is only when we are going So, I'm a journalist, but I need to continue. They are daydreaming if they are talking of e-congress. Tina Sila e-congress, this is a yes. Tina Zaketo, we are waiting for a period date, then elections will come. And the elections are only administered by the association, not anyone or any organization. Those who want to continue with it, I'm sure the chairman is going to say up more about this issue. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, choose me, our chairman, Comrade Mutango, uh, members of the National Executive Provider Academy, the journalist of the we welcome you this important uh, uh, event. Uh, much has been said by my, by my, my colleagues. I'm simply going to uh, put a little bit of emphasis and also going to uh, clarify one or two points. <coughs> As has been mentioned, it is very, very, <coughs> it should be very, very clear to everyone that the Zimbabwe National War Veteran Association is an independent body, which is run on and uh, give them a constitution which is in black and white. We are guided by the later, by by, 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 by the dictates of the word of the constitution. And we shall not accept anyone, I want to emphasize, anyone from outside the war veteran to detect the pace or the way we are supposed to move as, one, as an association. The utterances which we have uh, all witnessed, uh, especially where we are having this uh, the so-called uh, interviews are very unfortunate. We take those as an attempt 
to remove the war veteran institutions and replace it with what? With the, with the young generation, the G40, the, the, what they call, the so called the youth, which we all know are the, what, are the G40. And we are not going to accept that. We are the owners of Zanpia, we will remain the owners of Zanpia, and we will fight. And nobody is going to take that away from, from, from us. We, at the moment, what they, whatever they say, they mentioned, like as it has as, as been indicated, that the elections are going to be on. There's nothing like that which is going to take place. War veterans around the provinces, they all agreed that elections can only be held in accordance with the constitution of the, of the association. And we are not going to have any elections outside the, outside the constitution. And we don't want any interference as far as the matters of the war veterans are concerned, from people outside the world, outside the world to be veteran fraternity. We know, we, we are aware of a, a lot of other people, especially in Zambia, <coughs> trying to detect the way we are supposed to move. No, it's not, it's not. It's the, the actual fact is we are the custodians of, what, of the revolution, and we have to make sure that we perform our, our, our duties. As of now, we are not interested about what uh, these elections they are talking about. I mean, sorry, the, the Congress, well, they, they are suggesting. We are already on the, on the field. We are already campaigning for 2018. Let it be known that war veterans have already started campaigning for the 2018 elections. And here we are campaigning for candidates with the support of the people. We are campaigning for ZANPF candidates, not G40 candidates. And we'll make it a point that the G40 candidates will not see the light, the, light of all, the light of the day. And whatever they are talking about, we are not very much concerned about that. We are concerned about how, uh, our own programs. <coughs> our program, one of them, as I've said, is we have already rolled the world of started turning. We have already started what, campaigning. And we want to make it a point that G40 does not see the light of the day. Thank you. I'd like to actually emphasize with some few things that have been outlined and left out by my colleagues. Uh, the first is on the issue of our minister <coughs> interfering with our constitution. I doubt very much, much that the minister in the minister or neither the, the Dr. Sedamari is one of us. I doubt very much that that is a member of the association. If he is in great not take our issues and addresses them in the media or in the rallies, which are so-called interfaces. I doubt very much because it, it, when you go there, you'll be not addressing the world. You'll be addressing the other part, which actually is not the right structure that we should address. Then the other point, which has been alluded by my colleagues also, and I want to emphasize it so that we take it that clear. We as comrades, we are very united, and we are very organized, and we are actually, uh, we are matured. We know, we, have, we fought in during war, and we are even, now, even up to now, we are still struggling, we are still in this revolution. There is no one who can tell us that today we don't know where we came from. And he comes with another parallel structure that he, told, he tells us to come and uh, actually follow. You are going to choose our own leaders. There is no leader that we are going to follow as long as it's not chosen by us. We know how to detect the pace. I was actually happy when the, His Excellency says you are going to follow the law. We, the, the best citizens of this country, who actually would like to follow the law. We understand that the law is going to detect it. Allowed to interfere with somebody's structure. We don't actually interfere with the structure of the MPF, let's say the youth interface. We don't actually disturb their movements. Even the women's league, even neither the main wing, we don't interfere with those structures. When that PF is doing its own things, we don't actually go and disturb them. I wonder why these people they are actually have put the they have, they have put the actually the they are interested to come and interfere with our own structures. Like what my colleague has said, that no, we are the vanguard of our revolution. Our revolution is the one who can actually <coughs> tell us where we came from and where we want to go. We are the vanguard of this country. We fought for the country. Actually, we're not, we're not actually 
uh, actually, let me say, it's stupid when we allow some of these people to come on board and uh, to be one of the part of us. But now when we do this, that's why we say, it. when we go in 2018, we're going to vote for people who are revolutionaries, who have got the, this country at heart, who are going to guard the, the, the revolution of this country. As long as we are a, a G40, we are a dead team. G40, we are a dead team. We are to allow the G40 to come. The president says they are called Obamas. Because they are called something like 40, 40 something, yes. We don't want Obamas in Zimbabwe. We don't like Obamas in Zimbabwe. We are going to actually make sure that those people they are defeated. Uh, I thank you. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat. <laughs>